cutest 1970s stars everyone wanted to date. How has the 70s left its mark on today's celebrities? Well, some stayed in the public eye, others have faded away. It was a tumultuous decade for many, gas prices were climbing, coupled with international recession and one of America's most infamous wars yet. President Nixon proclaimed his innocence throughout it all, while Star Wars dominated the worldwide box office charts. Now we wonder what happened to those who made their name in that era. Al Pacino Al Pacino, having portrayed iconic characters in films such as The Godfather and Scarface, is still captivating audiences today with his leading performances in HBO's critically acclaimed works of art, from Paterno to the biopic drama of Phil Spector. Barbara Bach Barbara Bach's legendary fame was made during the 1970s when she starred in numerous smash hit films. Most notably, she's remembered for her role as Anya Amosova, Bond girl to Roger Moore in The Spy Who Loved Me. After the 1980s, Barbara disappeared from the big screen and has since become a passionate advocate of education and vegetarianism while also marrying Ringo Starr. Bo Derek. If one were to compile a list of 1970s goddesses, Bo Derek's name would unquestionably be at the top. Most well known for her role in 10, these days she's more dedicated to advocating on behalf of both horses and injured veterans than acting. Charles Grodin Thankfully, the beloved comedy genius Charles Grodin blessed us with some of his favorite films like Midnight Run and the 70s remake of King Kong. However, he's not nearly as active in acting roles these days. We were lucky enough to have him grace a few episodes of FX's hit show Louis. Clint Eastwood In the 1970s, Clint Eastwood was an undeniable movie superstar, with iconic films like Dirty Harry and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Fast forward to today's 21st century, he's now a revered director renowned for masterpieces such as Gran Torino and American Sniper. Even though his on-screen appearances may not be as frequent anymore, Mr. Eastwood continues to direct movies consistently, proving that talent never fades away. Dustin Hoffman Celebrating 50 years in the entertainment industry, Dustin Hoffman has not only solidified himself as one of Hollywood's most acclaimed actors since his debut in 1968 with The Graduate, but still shows no signs of stopping. Currently working on a new drama, As Sick As They Made Us, which is now entering pre-production stage, Hoffman continues to captivate audiences and mesmerize us all with his versatility and immense talent. Diane Keaton Diane Keaton is an iconic actress, renowned for her roles in classic films such as Annie Hall in The Godfather. Although she hasn't had the same number of acting jobs lately, Diane has recently been featured in movies like Book Club and Finding Dory proving that even after all these years, she still knows how to steal the show. Faye Dunaway After taking a seven-year break from acting, the Oscar-winning Faye Dunaway made her triumphant return to Hollywood in 2017 with her appearance in The Bye Bye Man. Prior to this, she'd built an esteemed career portraying iconic roles such as Chinatown and Network. Goldie Hawn in 1969, Hawn's career breakthrough was her part in Cactus Flower, where she was awarded an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Since 2002, however, she'd only taken in a few roles until 2017 when two of her films, Snatched and SPF 18, were released simultaneously. Gene Wilder Though Gene Wilder retired from acting in 2003, his legacy has endured through somatic staples such as Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and The Producers. An icon of comedy for generations to come, Wilder's memory will remain forever enshrined within these timeless classics. Harrison Ford Back in 1977, Harrison Ford captivated audiences across the globe with his role in Star Wars A New Hope, the biggest movie ever made at the time. And now, nearly four decades later and still going strong, he continues to astound us all as the lead character of Star Wars The Force Awakens, once again making it one of the most successful movies worldwide. Harvey Keitel Despite his success in the 1970s, Harvey Keitel has managed to reignite and prolong his career through collaborations with Quentin Tarantino. Inglorious Bastards is only one example of their work together. Keitel provided the voiceover for the OSS officer at its conclusion. Jane Fonda 
Jane Fonda has been a fiery icon of the 1970s, igniting uproar with her anti-war stance. Even today, she continues to be an influential figure in Hollywood, recently making an appearance on Netflix's popular show, Grace and Frankie. Jacqueline Bissett For more than 50 years, Jacqueline Bissett has charmed audiences with her remarkable beauty in films like Bullet and Murder on the Orient Express. She's still making waves in Hollywood today, as demonstrated by her recent Golden Globe win for Best Supporting Actress in the BBC miniseries Dancing on the Edge. Jeff Bridges Jeff Bridges has earned his place in cinematic history, having starred in roles that span multiple generations. He's remembered for captivating performances from the original Tron to a remake of King Kong and The Dude in The Big Lebowski. Even now, he continues to make an impression with modern adaptations like Rooster Cogburn and True Grit by the Coen brothers. Jane Seymour Jane Seymour is undeniably an enormous success story among the many actors who weren't already famous before being cast in a James Bond movie. In recent years, she starred in films such as A Royal Christmas and Little Italy that are sure to be box office hits. John Travolta John Travolta has had a roller coaster of a career, from his meteoric rise to fame in Saturday Night Fever in Greece, all the way up until his triumphant re-emergence with 1994's classic hit movie Pulp Fiction. Unfortunately for John and fans alike, the 2018 biopic film starring him as mob boss John Gotti was met with resounding disappointment after receiving an abysmal rating of 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. Linda Carter Linda Carter's reputation skyrocketed when she starred in the renowned series Wonder Woman. Although her acting roles have dwindled compared to before, fans were delighted to see her on the CW show Supergirl recently. Helen Mirren Helen Mirren's illustrious career began on the stage, followed by starring roles in Caligula with Malcolm McDowell and Peter O'Toole. Fast forward to today and Helen hasn't lost an ounce of her shine. She's currently featured in the latest installment of the critically acclaimed Fast and Furious franchise, F9. Kate Jackson After a remarkable journey in the entertainment industry, Kate Jackson is finally unveiling her autobiography entitled The Smart One this December. Best recognized for her iconic part as Sabrina Duncan on Charlie's Angels, she looks forward to sharing her story with fans and admirers alike. Michael Caine for over 60 years, Michael Caine has been beloved by fans for his memorable roles in films like The Italian Job and Get Carter. In the last decade, however, he solidified himself as an essential figure of one of cinema's biggest franchises ever created, Christopher Nolan's acclaimed Dark Knight trilogy. There he plays Alfred Pennyworth, Bruce Wayne's loyal butler and father figure who serves to be a pillar of support throughout the series. Susan Day Susan Day has been a household name since the 1970s when she portrayed Lori Partridge in The Partridge Family and later made her mark in L.A. law until 2004. Nowadays, Susan is enjoying a peaceful life with her husband in upstate New York, living out of the limelight where she rose to stardom. Michael Douglas Michael Douglas continues to act as much today, decades after he first starred in The Streets of San Francisco. Most recently, he made an appearance alongside Paul Rudd in the blockbuster Marvel Comics franchise, Ant-Man. Jacqueline Smith Being one of the original Angels in Charlie's Angels, Jacqueline Smith demonstrated her remarkable acting prowess when she was nominated for a Golden Globe Award with her character portrayal as Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy in the made-for-TV film. Even today, you can catch her on TV shows such as CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, and Law & Order SVU. Jessica Lange Jessica Lange has been a favorite on the big screen for years, having starred in films such as King Kong and Tootsie. Now, after her spectacular performance on the acclaimed series American Horror Story, Jessica is enjoying an unforeseen career resurgence. Jack Nicholson After years of unprecedented success in the film industry, Jack Nicholson is permanently retired from acting, but his legacy will live on. From The Shining and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest to his final acclaimed feature film The Departed in 2006, Nicholson's life and work have left an indelible mark that future generations can continue to appreciate and enjoy. Mia Farrow Mia Farrow was a shining star in the 70s, starring in several iconic films such as Rosemary's Baby. 
Her then-partner, Woody Allen, directed many of her projects during this period. Since retiring from acting, Mia dedicates herself to political causes and other human rights initiatives which she is passionate about. Meryl Streep As time goes by, Meryl Streep's stardom is ever-growing. From the Iron Lady to Mamma Mia, from the Post to the Devil Wears Prada, there isn't a film she appears in that doesn't win accolades and awards. Her performances are critically acclaimed around the world, and her fans can be found on all corners of the globe. Mary Tyler Moore As a beloved icon on the small screen, Mary Tyler Moore captivated viewers everywhere in her iconic show. Sadly, she passed away in 2017 at 80 years old. Before leaving this world, though, she made unforgettable guest appearances on Hot in Cleveland and Lipstick Jungle, cementing her legacy as an unparalleled TV star. Olivia Newton-John Olivia Newton-John has had an illustrious career in both music and acting, but will perpetually be remembered as Sandy from the classic movie Grease. She continued to tour the globe until she died in August of 2022.